All right, folks, welcome back to the Homegrown Farms channel. We kind of hadn't done any videos in a while, but we're going to do some more, we promise you. But uh, since it'll pan across there, we brought peppers in and tried to overwinter them in here through the fall, which we're going to have some cold weather coming up next three nights. It's going to be below freezing, so we moved a lot of plants in. We plant kale, as you can see, Swiss chard. <laughs> we don't have enough lettuce, which we're not comfortable with that, but you know, it's kind of a toss up this time of year. We got some collard and uh, you see these jalapenos. This particular plant here has really loaded up. And uh, we transplanted these. We had this tub out by the garden in the shade through all this heat so we moved it in here and that bell pepper that thing has got beat up through that extreme heat you guys know what i'm talking about we've had warm weather all the way through october which is you know it's not uncommon in oklahoma but it's pretty rare but at any rate we got Carrots. Now, I planted these. I put these, uh, started them in September, which we always try to do. But you, you can see these, these jalapenos. There's a bunch of them in there. Now, we'll use them. I don't care what size they are, but, uh, we'll, uh, we'll utilize those no matter what. And I know a lot of you guys probably like jalapeno. We do. And if you take the seeds out, they're not that hot. But that's okay. We're just trying to stretch it through the season. Here's a uh, here's an electroculture rod I put in here, and I'm I'm waiting to see if this kicks up these kale plants. Uh, we'll see. I, I'm still on the fence about it. I we put some of them in the ground out here, but. And we put some in tubs. Uh, we're still on the fence on it. I, I, I can't tell you this is the end all and this is what is going to produce more produce. And there is Mr. Huxley. And he's helping us out in here right now. He thinks. <laughs> but, anyhow, but potatoes. Let's get on these potatoes. Huh? So we've got uh multiple tubs of them what we got two four six eight ten twelve thirteen tubs but this one is just blowing past the rest of them why is that well i, I think i got the answer these blue tubs these blue barrel tubs we made have uh more compost in them the old compost that we got and i think that's the difference i'm gonna fertilize all of them and we'll see what happens. I'm going to use liquid fertilizer, but we'll see. But what we got to do the next three nights is get uh, this greenhouse above freezing. And and we'll, so we got a heater today. Our old one, it's over there somewhere. Oh, I threw it in trash can, so it went out. But anyhow, we, uh, we, got, we got another heater. And uh, we've also got a backup propane heater. Last year, if we'd had that, I think we could have carried uh, all those over winter crops through here and, and did great. But uh, we learned a lesson. So, you know, that's part of it. You win, you lose, right? It's give and take. So we'll see. So I'm going to follow up with this. We gotta, we're going to do a new Artifact ID video. And Garrett, get ready. So I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do the uh, the new artifact ID video. I promised you we'd do. We it's just been so hot, and we've had so much going on. And uh, I'm not. I'm not making excuses, but uh, the artifact show was great this year. Uh, I got to. I got to see that pipe, that shaman pipe, a bird stone. I had a guy come up with a supposed conch shell artifact, which we shot it down. It was fake. And 
look, I don't expect this guy to be able to sniff all this out, but the microscope does not lie. Okay. The microscope will take you where you need to go. What does that mean? Well, it tells me what I need to know, right? So, well, we didn't charge for this service this year, but I promise you, I will. We will charge next year for authentication and 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 certification on artifacts. Uh, and that's what it should be because there's so many fake ones out there. So when we were at the uh, ORU campus a few years ago, they said, we got a tour. We'll go over in the Elsing Museum. Oh, hey, guys. 65 to 70% of those artifacts in there were fake. And, man, I'll do a video on that. I, I promise you, we're going to go up there one day. We'll, we'll tour that, that museum, and we will point out what's fake and what's not without even examining it. All you have to do is just look at it. I mean, some of these things are huge. You know, 12, 14, 15 inch long artifacts. And there were a lot of those out there on the market years ago. But at any rate, I'm going to do this uh, artifact ID for Garrett. And this is going to be on Hannah points uh, that came off that McKean line. And we'll take that through that, and we'll do it for you. But at any rate, uh, just know that. So some of you guys probably don't have any interest in artifacts, but that's okay. I get it. And I get it that, you know, not everybody wants to subscribe to our videos. I get that, too. I've got a lot of videos, Sissy and I, that we subscribe to, and they're good channels. And I, and I I realize that repetition, you know, everybody thinks, well, there's not a video every day, you know, that's okay. Whatever the, those people want to do, I'm, that's out of our control. But anyhow, thanks for watching. Hit the thumbs up. Please do that. That keeps our video rolling through the cycle. And that, what's that woman, honey, on there that, has that algorithm thing that picks up on you, that Alexa. Mm -hmm. Well, she can't understand me because I'm too hit. Thank you. Thank you. Come back and see us on the next video.